Y'all know what the deal is. Y'all see the title. Y'all see the thumbnail. We're going to be talking about this roll cart here. Okay, reason why I got it and a couple things that I've done to it or I'm going to do to it right here. Now, this is not a replacement, guys. Y'all know that. It is, in fact, so I can stop using this right here because although I got it to roll around, it just ended up being more storage. And if y'all know about this large James Town cart, it is super heavy and it's kind of not mobile enough. So I'll be explaining on that US General cart. And then of course y'all, guys, I talk about these two boxes so much. Y'all know why? Because I manifested this. As long as you manifest something, it can happen. Guys, it's, it was about eight years ago where I first seen this style setup and I was like, yo, I want this. I want it. I actually made it happen. But I was so deep in debt on my original box, which I'll show right here, that I could not just trade it in and get this box, okay? So I ended up making it happen in about three, I think this is the fourth year. In September will be the fourth year I have this box. But then everything else, the hutch and that, going on three years, I believe. So let's stop talking and let's do what it do with that one right there. All right, to start it off, we're gonna talk about uh, the first modification. Okay, y'all see this right here? I did have this on my Matco roller, which I hung right here, and it kind of like chewed this up. I don't like that. But I did transfer it to this one, as this will roll with me more often than not, and I can put my, uh, my impacts right there. And then, I thought I lost these right there, which those are the spacers to hook up to this or the, the three drawer, four drawer, five drawer, whatever drawers for the US Generals. So they do have the spacers. I did find them and I put them on and it fits perfect guys. So I believe this will be, this is a good uh, addition, good modification. If you're in the running, I think this is like uh, $220 at Harbor Freight. And as you can see, I'm using it as a uh, new ball holder, a WD-40 holder right there, if you will. Now next, I don't know how everybody feels about this, but we got some drawer liners on bottom and on top. I've been told that the drawer liners, the diamond plate is outdated. It's only for old people and they make fun of me here at the shop because I'm 31. <laughs> so they say, Fluff, you're old. No wonder you like that. But I think it adds a little bit of character to the roller and the, the gray, silver, whatever you want to call it, adds a little more to the trim. Because this is green, it is bright green, it is very loud. So any black or silver that can go with the box makes it pop, in my opinion. Now y'all may think something else. So I did, in fact, use the drawer liner on top and on bottom now they don't sell this anymore on amazon i bought this on amazon several years back before i got that roller right there because the rat fink one if y'all see down yonder has green drawer liner i was gonna put the diamond plating on the the green roller over there on the rat fink one but then i was like you know what ah, i don't know i don't know it just doesn't seem right and then i was searching and searching and searching and then i found another color which is the green, which y'all see right there. And I decided to put that under my laptop. That way it doesn't slide around and it just, yeah, basically so it doesn't move around and all that. So um, I put it, I put the remaining of that stuff on my stainless top. So my computer doesn't move. And so this one just sat in the garage forever, just being wasted away. And it feels a little oily. So I think just being in the garage with all my fluids and uh, engine parts used oil and stuff you know it just it gets in the air and I think it just moisturized it a little bit but nevertheless it does 
it's a lot better than just having it um, bare because it, it this stuff gets ugly when it starts getting scratched up and chipped up and stuff like that um, yeah it's just it, it doesn't look nice oops I am gonna have to speed this up because my phone is starting to get hot it is super hot super humid today um, I don't know what the actual temperature is but I know it's above 100 degrees so with that being said we're gonna go down to the bottom as y'all see on the bottom I got the drawer liner down there as well because that's where I plan to put um, like when I'm taking the transmission apart or t doing the transmission you know throw the air box down there the ECM PCM whatever you want to call it just parts that I don't want on the actual ground that can get kicked around and stuff like that so that's what that purpose is for and I never thought about that as I was younger when I got the other one um, so yeah so this actually does help I wish I would have never got rid of my original rollers but you live and you learn and I definitely learned now as far as in the drawer I just have some paper towels haven't really figured out what to put in here I don't want to put tools in here um, so we do got paper towels we got my clips uh, parts tray this thing's just bulky so I don't know where to really put it and then I got uh, my uh, bore scope right there as well so lakes remind me bro remind me to get you the link to this or you could just see it right there san cisco i think uh it was like 80 dollars or something like that they have a whole bunch of different types but this video is not about that guys this video is about this roll cart and what we're doing to it so we got that we got the impact holder uh we got the drawer liners let's get this out of the way actually i there was more i wanted to touch on this so yeah it was in my garage or my uncle's garage for the past four or five six years i'll say five years um so yeah, I was in my uncle's garage for the past six years, five years, I mean, because uh, I think my son was born or barely born. Anyways, minimum four years, maximum five years. So when I got this, I was like, y'all heard me tell my dad, now nah, I got a drawer liner. Well, I couldn't find this. Well, it turns out I ended up taking it home with me because um, I was living with my uncle at the time. And then uh, me and my old lady ended up moving out on our own uh, just because family was growing. And I never thought I'd leave my uncle's house, but it happened um so yeah so i went crazy looking for this i went over there i was like oh dude i can't find it have you seen it he goes no I'm like dude damn i remember seeing this roll it's a big roll turns out i had it at my house and that's why i had seen it so recent <laughs> so yeah i just thought i just thought that was a funny story on that okay now to go along you need wrench well you don't need wrench holders but i got wrench holders i got socket rails uh, I got two different kinds because I wasn't sure which one I was going to like. That one is okay right there. Um, but when it's on the drawer liner, it's not very strong. So it's just, it, it's, it's a nice touch. But these ones right here, these are very nice. Um, when there is weight on there, it does hold a lot better. I'm actually trying to pull it up right here. Uh, the magnets are a little stronger on this one and these aren't twist lock but they do have the detent and the detent does hold very well the reason i got two is because when i have a bunch of sockets when, like if i'm doing a big job i can't put regular sockets and uh wobble sockets or universal sockets i you know i can't really think of the name but yes these sockets right here wobble sockets universal sockets i don't know but you can't fit regular sockets with these because of course these are a lot wider so that's why i have two rails and then i have uh magnetic cups to throw like clips or whatever you know loose stuff i have another magnet tray over there so this is a nice addition and i just leave these out because they're just to hold sockets it's nothing really valuable i just leave them out now i know y'all saw some stuff down there that needs to get taken home and then those those are gloves uh so we're gonna bring this up this is what those are a couple things i'm gonna throw on the box right now all right guys so let's do it all right so first i'm gonna move this stuff down here this could really go up there y'all recognize this light comment down below below what light this is man <laughs> uh oh yeah but i could actually no i could put it right here it's fine right there but i do need to take this off Ooh yeah and it's already scratching so we're gonna start off with this 
this is actually um, like door door jam door edge uh, protector you know for vehicles why it came with all this stuff I don't know but what we're gonna do we're gonna line the edges because I don't know if y'all can see right there uh, one of the recent videos a wrench hit right there and uh, nicked the paint and I was like no and then plus I find myself actually laying the impact um, in here and the hose and stuff so just want to protect the edge a little bit better because y'all know about powder coat um, that edge gets all ugly and rusted and like I said I, I want to take care of this I want to take care of this it, it was a birthday present and yeah so this one has the the rubber in it I believe so we're just gonna lay this down or it doesn't have the rubber in it, it has the metal in it so we're gonna put this down and it will protect the edge it's funny because I told my pops that I bought this or that I was thinking about buying it and he goes oh man you should have told me because he said he actually had some now let's see how long I need um, we're gonna call it ah right there's fine cut that I'm trying not to get in the video too much yeah this stuff actually holds pretty freaking good I didn't think it was gonna hold that good oh as y'all as y'all can see right there y'all can see the metal that's in there come on so I think uh, I'll speed this up a little bit so y'all don't have to so we don't waste too much video y'all could just actually see yeah let's speed it up right now alright guys so I'll start talking when I start doing the next the next step I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on this display This is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic, you can't stop it It's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic I'll go to last with the webs I'm weaving I could change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat em. Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them If you take off the cast, you can see all the healing If the pain's in the past, move on from the grave And put your foot on the gas, don't no, never stop competing yeah. I've been doing this, I'm on it, I just wanna be iconic Okay, now we got all the sides done and since we did that now i won't be so worried about this tray scratching rubbing whatnot because it now <laughs> so there you go addition and we can get the rest of this yeah this was a lot um it smells weird yeah we could get this and we could put it to the side and then uh Let's do the next modification because I'm actually going to be switching the name of this box. Uh, so it's going to say U.S. General and something else. Hey, what do you think? Oh, shit. So it doesn't fucking uh, get dinged up on the edges. You going to buy one? You going to go cop you a blue one? Yeah, blue one or white? Blue one. Blue? I think your blue would go good with your setup. Hell yeah. Influence. Me, you, and Mr. Um, Davio Will. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he but he doesn't it. use his. Yeah, I know. So. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. 
So I actually got some uh, 3M magnetic stuff. Oh man, hopefully it holds. Um, and then I got a... <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, y'all see what that is. Okay, let's chop it up and uh, let's put it on. Let's see, I, I need to see how to put this on first. Um, man, I thought these magnets were gonna be a little bit stronger. A little bit stronger. So, you know, I'm just, uh, I can't afford the real thing, right? So, might as well do what I can. See if this. We'll, we'll do what we can to uh, to act like we can afford Snap-on. Because apparently I can't afford Snap-on. Oh. Oh, shit. Thought this would be kind of, uh, you know, kind of funny. Oh, I did it way too short. Okay. Well, whatever. So we got... Will it even stick? Yes, it will. And then... Go there to here. Snip. Snip. And I got to take a little bit off of here. And apply. Oh man, I made that. I made that. You can't even tell that I did that. All right. So one last addition. Boom. So now we have a US General strap-on. So y'all see that? Let me get this more straight. Does it look like it's supposed to go? I think the, let's see, two fingers there, uh, about two fingers there. I think we're good on that. Now I do, I wish it was a little more metallic looking, but I mean, all in all, it's all right. Y'all see what it is. Man, I am not, uh, I hope my boss doesn't see this and be like, wait, hold on, what? That wait, that's supposed to be a wrench. But yeah, guys, I I just I, I thought this would be a little funny to have a U.S. General strap on, snap on, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, why do I feel like that's not even? Anyways, guys, if y'all like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, turn post notification bells on so you don't miss another upload. And guys, if your uh, membership has run out, don't forget join up because uh, we were getting a lot of membership donations but that stuff gets expensive guys so don't forget like i said next month we're doing another giveaway for members only check these videos out right here subscribe up there and we out of here deuce